As I mentioned earlier, executives do tend to have uh, little time and they need to make a lot of business decisions on a regular basis. So what they're looking for is an executive summary which actually summarizes the essence of the things that you're proposing in this report. There are three key ingredients of an executive summary. First of all, you are setting out the problem or the business problem that you're proposing to solve. Second of all, you're telling how you went about researching the solution for this problem. And third is the actual solution that you're focusing on. So the things that you have found and the recommendations based on your findings. So executive summary should not be usually more than one page long. In the ideal case, it should be about half a page so that an executive could scan this uh, executive summary. And it's really important that this executive summary is showing you and getting that key uh, decision that you are looking for across. If your executive summary is poorly written, it doesn't make clear what the problem is, how you went about solving it, or what it is you're proposing. Chances are your report will be binned. And obviously when we're marking these kind of reports, it's also quite difficult for us to see what it is that you're trying to achieve with this as well.